Hey, oh, wait, you can see me here from Force SWC. Uh, just visiting uh, Detroit Players Squad, my mates Mars and uh, Rip and all his crew. Just finished uh, upgrading my imps in time. And my DDOs came out as well, just in time for the war. So that was uh, was good. Managed to get an attack in or two there. We went against stops for most of it. It was a good fun, fun war anyway. Let's go in and what are we going to upgrade this week? I've been thinking about it and I'm probably going to go heavies. I got hawk frags in the war crate so I don't think I've got anything quick to update at the moment. Let's just quickly... Oh yes! ATRT. Oh yes. Let's make that go to prestige. Love my ATRT. Awesome. That's good news. Woohoo! Now double check just in case I missed any other... Uh, Any other stuff that I want to upgrade? Now, my Hawks, I haven't in upgraded at all intentionally. And I haven't upgraded my Hauler yet either, because once it goes from uh, changes to level 6, instead of having AATs come out that can be skinned, the Jug comes out. But I probably will end up doing that one. I've just been lazy. But the Hawk, see, when I go up another level, it's going to be 12 minutes at the moment. It's at um, just a good level to be able to cook quickly. So it's my pre-cooked one that I always have going. It's Hawks because I use them the most, obviously. There's my standard LO that I'll carry around, see, with the air. Four Hawks, four meds and a Thang. Now the meds I've got left low as well so that they have a quick cook time. See, they're only nine minutes when it gets to, um, that was weird. Why is the sample not coming up at X? There we go. See, when it gets to, to 10, it's 21 minutes. So 30% there. I haven't bothered looking to see if it really makes too much of a, a difference on the stats or not, but I'll just keep my cook time down because I don't use it very much anyway. So I might use them in war sometimes and whatnot and get some samples out and use level 10s if I really need to but uh, this week for the research to prestige I've decided I'm going to go with heavies because that would be the thing that I use in wars most next to uh, to jets if I'm not going a jet loadout, then I normally have a heavy one. Now, next, I'm probably going to go jug and or hails. So I probably could have gone hails this time, but I've decided no, nah, not nah, going to go with the heavies, and we'll see how that goes. We've got one day left here on my last UT being upgraded. These other two have already gone to prestige. When that finishes, I'm going to have an extra 12 slots more than I did when I was on. Uh, on level 10 so HQ 10 so instead of having 120 I'm going to finally end up with 132 so an extra four slots for each one so I'm gonna to have to work out what my final LO is going to be for when I get all that at the moment I've just got it mucking around with a heap of different um, different different things there that I've just got just so it's just filled and I can uh, hit <clears throat> hit dev bases easy I haven't been attacking many real bases at all lately for ages except in wars it uh, takes too long to cook your air so you can't get anywhere in the conflict and you're not going to spend two hours cooking air to be able to do one attack and get 600 or 700 gears for it when I can use maybe one or two hawks in an attack if I really, really need to on the dev base. So next lot I'm going to hit going to definitely be either a jug or the hails, one of those two. But the building wise, I'm still un undecided on if I should go for another barracks to prestige first, or if I should take another factory to prestige first, or should I go my SC? So, what do we get with the SC? We'll get an extra two capacity. Mm, so I'll have 42. So that means I'd be able to take, say, six jets or six hails. But I don't mind it with uh, five hails and a wet anyway. 
So, well, anyway, we'll have to worry about all that in the future. We've got a, got another day to, to sort that out in my head. My Strix Beacon's finally finished upgrading to 10. I've only just been able to use him a couple of times so far because he's level 1. But uh, it only takes an hour to, to reload him. Once I get it worked out a little bit better, I'll try and do a, an attack um, with him on an actual base when there's not a conflict on or anything. Okay. Oh, good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you all... Up grade pars are all going awesome too if you've got any questions shoot them there down the bottom in the comments thanks for all the comments and the likes i really appreciate it all <laughs> uh these are all champions okay rightio good luck may the force be with you all